Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a quick fall fashion haul. I wanted to go over some uh, new things that I picked up. Mostly a lot of accessories and then a few outerwear pieces, but I'm sure you've seen some of them I've already shown on Instagram, but I wanted to kind of put it all together in a video and talk about it and talk about fit and all that sort of thing. So let's get started. What should I start with first? Let's start with the outerwear pieces and then I'll go to the accessories and then at the end what I'll do is I'll show them on so at least you can see what they look like um, wearing, you know, in the full ensemble. Okay, so the first item I purchased, and I mean this is a kind of a spring, summer, fall piece. It's definitely not a winter piece, but it definitely can be transitioned into fall and it's a long um, kind of silky uh, utility vest so to speak. I don't know what they're really called, but it's like, it's pretty long and it ties in the back. Um, they have it like tied in the back, but I've just left it tied in the back rather than tying it in the front. I kind of like to leave it open because it has like really nice draping. Now I bought this, believe it or not, I actually haven't shopped here for any type of clothing before, but I saw this online and I was like, oh, I love it. And I got it from Target. Like if you can believe it. And it fits really, really well. I mean, it's only, it's less than $30. So the quality, I mean, it wrinkles quite easily. So just know that, but I love the way it drapes. I've already worn it in a blog post. And I love it with just like a, a tank top or a short sleeve shirt or a long sleeve tee. You could wear it over a button down shirt, uh, a turtleneck. I mean, it's very lightweight. So it's only gonna take you into like the beginning of fall. We're not talking like really way into fall and winter, but I just thought it was a really fun piece. I also like it in the summer paired with like shorter shorts and like a tee because I like the difference in length for the long vest with the shorter shorts or, you know, skirt. So I thought it was a really fun piece, a really great color for the fall. Another outerwear piece that I picked up was a denim jacket. So I have a gap denim jacket I purchased probably a couple of years ago. But the only thing about it is at the time it fit, but I don't know. I don't think it stretched out, but it, I don't know. It's just a little bit too big in the shoulders for me. So I wanted to pick up another denim jacket, but I did want to get one from Gap because I was in Gap and I tried one on and they were just way too big. So I found this one online and this is by Levi's and I love the color. It was like, you know, a slightly darker blue, but it has some, some distressing, you know, in the fabric. And it's just a little bit smaller in the shoulders, which I like. Some people like to size up in the fall or winter with their jackets. I don't really, because I find, I mean, even though I'll wear a sweater under certain things, I, if I size up too much, it ends up being like huge. Like I have jackets from years ago that I've sized up in, cause I'm like, I'm gonna wear a sweater underneath this. But then I end up looking like I'm wearing a size too big in my coat. Like years later, I'm like, why did I buy this size? So I went the extra small for this denim jacket, the Levi's one. And it's just like a classic piece. You know, it's really not, this is a spring, summer, fall piece. It's not just a fall only piece, but obviously, you know, as soon as the fall hits, you're going to want like lightweight jackets and whatnot. And a denim jacket's great for that. I also like to tie it around my waist if I have like an all one color dress, like whether it's like a t-shirt dress or a shirt dress, I love to throw a denim jacket around my waist to break up the color sometimes, which I think is a really cute idea. So I've been wearing that like tied around my waist as well. All right, the last outerwear item is one that I showed on my Instagram. It was here for the anniversary sale at Nordstrom. I picked it up. I feel really grateful that I did, but the full size, I mean, full price of it is still a good price. It's not what it was for the anniversary sale, but it is still a very good price for what it is. So I got the blank NYC um, faux leather jacket. So it's faux, but it's such a good quality and it's such a good shape. So for anniversary sale, it was like $65. <gasps> I know, but I think full price, it's like 90 or 95. The leather feels almost real and it goes around the whole back. So it's not like there's, you know, pieces that, um, or maybe some of this is like different textures, 
but it definitely feels all leather and it fits so, so well. I got an extra small and I was debating about sizing up in this and I said to myself, no, because then it's going to end up being too big and I want my leather jackets to fit a little bit more snug. The only complaint, and it's, this is just me because I have itty bitty child arms, is it's too long in the arms and I obviously can't get it hemmed or altered because it has a zipper. <sighs> so it does come to like, like here on my arm, on my hand, which I don't love because sometimes that bothers me. But, you know, I find that most, the reason why I don't have a leather jacket is because I find most, when I try them on, are super long in my arms. And I'm always like, I don't want to spend that kind of money and have it look like I'm wearing, you know, someone else's jacket that doesn't fit. So I figured I could like justify the price with this. And I loved the style. It fits really well. And I mean, the, the arm length, if you were to see it, I'll try it on. It's not awful. But I just like my jacket to like stop right at my wrist. I don't know. But uh, a lot of you um, picked this up. I had posted on Instagram a few times because I was like, everybody needs to get this jacket if you want a leather moto jacket. If you don't, then good thing you didn't pick it up. So, but I think it's still available. I'll make sure, as always, to link everything down below in order so you can find it if you're interested. All right, let's get on to accessories. What should I start with first? Okay, let's start with shoes. I was kind of deciding... Should I get a pair of ankle boots or flats or, you know, I was kind of deciding I wanted to kind of get a, a more fallish pair of shoes, even though these are completely year round. And I saw these online and I fell in love with them. And here they are. They're by Valentino and they are the, let's see about, there you go. You can see it much better. The Tango flat. Now they come in a higher heel. Naturally, I went with the smaller heel. Because the higher heel, I think, was close to like four inches, and it really had like a, a strong pitch. So, and also, it just was too much on the balls of my feet. And I looked at the shape online, and I was like, mm -mm, no. But I loved, and first of all, I love a block heel. I wore tons of block heel sandals over the summer. They're so much more comfortable, obviously, than a regular stiletto. And these, I just love, I love the ankle strap. And... I just thought it was a really cute shoe. Obviously, they're good for the summer. You can wear them for the spring, summer, fall. But I like the patent leather for the fall. And, you know, they're just kind of like a little, a cute take on Mary Jane's. And they're very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Except there was like a little piece of plastic or something um, that was like rubbing against my ankle. So there's always like growing pains when you first buy a pair of shoes. But these are very, very comfortable. They come in a ton of different colors. I went with the black patent leather, though I was really tempted by the red. They had this like fire engine red patent leather red, um, in this style of shoes. I was like, oh, I need those. But then I was like, mm, let me go with the black. And then if I buy another pair of like fall shoes, maybe I'll splurge it with a different color option. Speaking of color options, I picked up a tote bag and it is more in a fall color though. Once again, like I said, like I'm not going to not wear it in the other seasons because that's ridiculous. Unless it's like a, a big puffy coat or a fur vest or something like that. I'm going to wear most of my stuff like year round. I even wear my wool hats in the summertime because I like to wear hats all year round. And I mean, unless it's like sweltering hot, but I still love to wear all of my hats, you know, all year round. And um, so I picked up the St. Laurent tote bag. I don't know what it's called. I'll link it below. But it's their standard tote. And I really, I kind of debated at first, do what did I want it? Because it was, it's very simple. We're talking like it just has a little St. Laurent right there and has this little thing hanging down that has like a little metal logo in it or something. It has like a little, a YSL logo. But that's it. It's, it does have, which is cute. A little um, inside, it has like a little, you know, coin purse attached because there's absolutely no pockets. There is, I have stuff in here already, but there are no pockets in here. So that really took me some kind of deciding, do I want a tote bag that has pockets and whatnot? But I decided that the coin purse option was good enough for me. I can put my keys in there. I can get like a pair of, a thing of keys and then maybe my cell phone in there. But I picked it up in this kind of like burgundy oxblood color, which I thought was kind of nice for the fall. But like I said, I'm going to wear this all year round. I wanted a tote bag that was very lightweight 
on its own. Because that's the challenge I have with buying any type of larger bags. You guys know I'm like a crossbody bag fan. And if I buy any type of larger bags, they're often way too heavy on their own. And when I add stuff to them, it becomes like way too heavy for me to carry and it hurts my back and neck and whoa. But this in itself is such a light, lightweight bag that I was able to justify it. And I've worn it a ton since I got it and I've really been enjoying it. They had so many different colors and I was contemplating getting like a lighter color. They had like a light tan or a light gray. And I thought to myself, that would make me nervous, especially a tote bag because I'll be throwing it all around. And I was like, what if it gets dirty or something? So I felt this was a better um, one to go with. And like I said, super, super lightweight on its own. So when you put things in it, it doesn't completely make it too heavy. Oh, and it has a little um, snap here. And it actually, most of the time when I put my bag on my shoulder, the snap just comes together on its own, which is kind of nice. So that is my tote bag. And like I said, I had debated between a few different tote bags. I was looking at the, the Goyard, the logoed one, but the price on the Goyard has like really gone up. I remember when it was a manageable price and then I looked at it and I was like, whoa, it has really gone up. And then I debated the Louis Vuitton with the never full thing, but I realized I sold my Louis Vuitton speedy handbag because I just wasn't loving the print. I just, I don't know, it's not really, I loved it at the time, and when I see it in other people, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And then I go, I've tried it on a million times before, and I'm like, I just don't, I don't think I'm gonna like this. So, hence, I went with that tote, which I felt was still sleek, and the color made it stand out a bit more, even though the kind of shape and detailing itself is quite simple. All right, last two things, hats. Oh, love hats. I buy multiple ones each season. Like, I've just become such a hat person, and, my first time, this is my first time buying, um, they still have the tags on them, like, obviously I haven't started wearing them yet, but my first time purchasing a rag and bone fedora. So I know these are really popular and they come in so many different colors and there's like the really floppy brim, I think, and then this is called the floppy brim fedora, but it's not extremely floppy. It's not like the largest um, brim. And I just, let me see if it'll... I just really, my hair is kind of in the way, but it's just such a, a great um, shape and I loved the color. So I got the medium because the small was like way too uh, tight. I couldn't even get it on my head. So I got the medium, which I really liked and I loved the color because I thought it was a really good um, color for fall. It's kind of like a, you know, a dark brown and then it has that kind of reddish brown detail around the kind of center of the hat. And then the other hat I got was Janessa Leone, which I already have one of her hats from last fall. And I, the only wool fedoras that I'd had prior to these hats, I had one from Gap, which actually held up pretty nicely. And then one from J. Crew. And the Janessa Leone one was the first one that I kind of splurged on like a nice wool hat. And it made such a difference. It held up, it has held up so well and it holds its shape really well and it fits my head so nicely. So I really wanted to buy one for this fall, but in a different color. So I went with the gray. And this one I kept in the small rather than the, no, yes, this is the small. Cause the medium was like falling down to here and I just didn't think that was cute. So this is a little bit, it's definitely a broader brim. So you have to really kind of be okay with that, but it doesn't bother me. I love the kind of broad brim and especially when it gets really cold, it helps keep the wind out of my face. And these hats actually keep my face so much warmer because it helps to kind of shield my face, whatever. But the gray I thought was a great fun option and look good with, you know, a ton of different things. So those are the two hats that I picked up and let me go put on some of the items that I purchased so you can see what those look like. So I'll be right back. All right, here is the leather jacket. And like I said, it's a really great like fitted shape. And as you can see, the arms, they are long, but not too long. And I would probably leave them unzipped just to kind of, so it doesn't make them look as long. It just kind of has a little bit of a flare 
right there and I can, you know, button it even though I would probably leave it undone, but I could, I could zip it. It gets a little, um, cold, but I love the shape and it just has such good detail. And for the price, I have to say, it's probably one of the best jackets that I've seen for this price, for a price like this in a very long time. So again, this is the blank NYC faux leather moto jacket. Here's the Levi's denim jacket. I've folded up the sleeves a bit and it's just a really great fit. Fits really well in the shoulders. It comes like right to the end of my shoulders and it's not too long. It's definitely more of a boxier fit, but not extremely boxy. Like I just like how, I like how it kind of shapes throughout here, but it's not extremely like super fitted as if it was, you know, kind of darted in here, but it's just a really nice, you know, easy jacket to throw on. And like I said, you can also, I've been wearing it tied around my waist and that's a really, you know, easy way to wear it. Makes it, especially when you're trying to break up an all one color outfit, like I said, like I've done in the past. So this is the Levi's denim jacket. Okay, here is the Target vest that kind of drapey army green um, vest I have, which I absolutely love. And this is just really easy to throw on. It is quite long. I mean, I can't even get it all in the frame here, but it does kind of hang so nicely. And it has this great drape. And like I said, you can tie it. I mean, I could tie it around the front, but I didn't really like that. So I've just left it tied like that in the back. And I mean, I would wear this with a ton of different things, just kind of throw it on as an additional layer. And it really kind of adds something a little bit different to an outfit. And I would even wear it with shorts like I have or jeans, skirts, pants, you know, anything. Here are the Valentino kind of Mary Janes with the ankle strap, which I really thought were cute. And they're a really great like height for me. They're definitely not too high. I think they're about a two and a half inch which is perfect for me and I love kind of the ankle strap and it kind of gives them a feminine kind of look but you can wear them I threw them on with jeans and like just a white t-shirt and they looked great I put them on with shorts recently in one of my Instagram pictures when I went out to dinner and I was able to walk around in these for like hours and hours and hours I still haven't rubber sold them yet which I rubber sold all of my shoes but we're getting ready to move so I We'll hold off on rubber soling them until we get to our new place. So, but I want to show you guys the fit of them and they do run large. They said that they didn't, but I end up having to go a half a size down and I rarely ever go half a size down in shoes, but I definitely had to go half size down in these because my foot was literally coming out of the back of them. So the half size, which is for me at 36 and a half fit perfectly. So that's everything. Those are all my recent kind of fall purchases that I wanted to show you. And I'll link everything down below in the order which I talked about it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.